Okay, so today we are going to solve some problem of Think Academy Ace interview questions. So the first one is find all the numbers of the non-congruent scaling triangles. For scaling triangle means we have three sides A less than B less than C and the largest size length equal 11 so no length can be equal. So in this case we only need to satisfy the requirement of the triangle is A plus B is greater than C that means the A plus B should be greater or equal than 12. So in this case we know B is less than C means B is less or equal than 10. Then we have the A should be greater or equal than 2. Then let's build a table. So A is 2. So we can see A plus B greater or equal than 12 and A should be less than B. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we know A uh, should be uh, okay so we know half of them is somewhere is six right so six have the most uh, uh, possibilities so now let's list it so two three four five and the six then seven eight nine that's the a so from the b here is the ten so here is the count it's 1, 9, 10, it's 2, so basically it's 3, 5 is from 6 to 10 is uh, oh, I'm sorry, from 7 to 10 is 4, then 6 is from also from the 7 to 10, right? So 4, 3, Two, one. So basically the total counts is 10 plus 10 equals 20. Okay, so problem two. How many positive integers less than 2015 exactly have nine positive integer divisors? So if a number can be write as the P1R1, P2, R2, and the P, K, R, K, right? So it's, it's the number of the uh, divisors is R1 plus 1 and R2 plus 1 to the R, K plus 1, right? So now this number is equal to 9. So that's why we see the 9 can be divided in uh, did, uh, factorize even 1 times 9 or 3 times 3, right? So now we means uh, we either have the n equals the p1 of the p1 of the 8 or n equals the p1 of the 2 times the p2 of the 2 and the p1 less than p2 and all of them are prime number. So now let's we can do it. So the 2 to the 8 is the 256, right? It works. 3 to the 8 is equal to the, uh, let's see, 3 to the 4 is 81 times the 81. It's already greater than the 2015 so it doesn't work okay so we have this one for the type 1 then for the type 2 is the 2 factor times together right so we know the 45 square is equal to uh, 20 uh, 25 greater than the 2015 then 44 square is equal to the uh, 45 square uh, minus 90 plus 1 is equal to is less than 2015 so the 44 square is we, we what we need right so not we can list as this so if p1 
and P2. So if P1 is 2, basically P2 can be 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and uh, 17, and uh, uh, 19. Yes. And uh, P is 3. We have the 5, 7, uh, 11. That is 13. Then P is 5. We have 7. So now let's counting. Okay. Now let's let me add one more. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 for the first one, 4 for the second one, and the 1 for the third one, right? So now we have 12 here. We have 12 here. Okay, so we have 12 for the second uh, uh, type and the 1 for the first type. So the total will be 1 plus 12 equals 13. Okay, for the 3, 3 is like, it's like a very good uh, symmetry here, right? It's the 1 over a square, but a 3 over the b square, right? And the 3 over the a square and the 1 over the b square. And uh, the pretty annoying part is this, is a and b, right? So by looking at this, the denominator and uh, with the a and the b are quite annoying. So that's why let's do a over 1 equals c and b over 1 equals d. And uh, let's rewrite this equation will be the c squared plus the 3d squared uh, equal the 2018 over c. And we have the 3c squared plus the d squared equal the 290 over d. Okay, so this one is equivalently with the c cubed plus the 3cd square equals 2018 and this one is the uh, the the 3c square c square d plus the d cube equals 290 okay so this one see and the 2cd square 3c square d it's really like a uh, the, the difference of the cubic, right? So we use the 1 minus the 2. We can get the c squared minus the 3c, c cubed minus the 3c squared d, and uh, plus the 3cd squared minus d cubed is equal to c minus the d cubed is equal to 2018 minus 290 is equal to 8, and uh, 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 271 and uh, let's factorize the 1728 one, okay so first we can factorize a 2 4 and the 4 it's uh, mm, 3 and 2 then we can factorize another 4 it's 108 and we can factorize another 4 it's 2 7 Wow, so that's great. So this is the 4 cube and the 3 cube. So now we know it is the equals the 4 cube times the 3 cube. So now we know the C minus D equals 4 times 3 equals 12. Okay, great. Now let's figure out the M divided by N, okay? So m divided by n is equal to the a b over b minus a. So we can see it, it's better to flip the a b to the bottom, right? So n over m is equal to the b minus a over a b is equal to the 1 over a minus the 1 over b is equal to the c minus d is equal to 12. So we know that m over n is 1 over 12. So 
of m plus n equals 1 plus 12 equals 13. Okay. So next question is the geometry. I think this type of question has so many, too many uh, isotriangles, okay, and uh, and equilaterals. So the first is A B equals A C. So the iso we have the triangle A B C, and the A F equals uh, E F, and the E H equals C H equals d h equals g h equals d g equals b g wow wow so many okay c h e with the c h c h e this angle is equal to the f g h equal to this angle okay so we have so many uh uh isosceles and the, the uh, uh, equilateral triangle, right? So the first one you observe is the GDH is equilateral triangle, right? So you know it's 60, 60, 60. Okay, now let's see. So let's assume this angle is uh, is alpha okay so now this angle okay let's see set angle b equals angle c equals alpha then we can say the angle a equals 180 minus the 2 alpha let's do some angle chasing okay uh, because the b g equals g d so basically triangle B G D is uh ISO isosceles triangle. So now we can see the this angle is also beta. Uh, this angle is also the one hundred eighty minus the two beta. This is 180. Uh, I'm sorry, to alpha. Okay, so this angle, right? This angle. This angle will be the uh, 180 minus the 60, that's 120, right? So this angle is 120 minus alpha. And this is also a isosceles triangle. So 120 minus alpha. So ba basically because the angle angle ECB is equal to alpha, right? So we can get the angle ECH is equal to alpha minus the 120 minus the alpha is 2 alpha minus 120. So it tells me this angle is 2 alpha minus 120, and this angle is 2 alpha minus 120. And this angle is equal to 180 minus the 2 alpha. Okay, now let's see. So because in the triangle, uh, in the triangle uh, CHE, right? So we, the, the only condition we haven't used is this one equal this one. Okay, so we need to calculate in that angle CHE is equal to the 180 minus the 4 alpha minus the 240 is equal to 420 minus the 4 alpha. This one is the middle result we need to use. And now we are trying to solve the other part is the angle F G H, right? Is 180 minus 180 minus 2 alpha plus the, the, the equilateral, the 80 
So this one is equal to the two uh, alpha uh, minus minus sixty. Okay, now we have the uh, now we have the because these two angles are identical, right? So we have an equation. So two alpha minus sixty equal to four twenty uh, minus the four alpha. So you can see the 6 alpha is equal to the 480. So now we solve the alpha equals to the uh, 80, right? So now we solve the alpha equals to 80. So angle BAC uh, is equal to the 180 minus 2 alpha is equal to 20. So this is the final answer. Okay, next one. Let's assume, okay, it says what kind of value n such that this is a perfect square. Let's assume so 2n plus the 256 is the perfect square. Let's say it's p square where p belongs to the positive integer. Okay, now the next step we do is the 2n equals the p square minus the 256 is p minus 16 and the p plus the 16. So now we can see this 2 times together is 2 to the n, right? And we also know the p minus 16 is less than the p plus 16. Okay, so that means we can factorize this one as 2 to the x and 2 to the n minus x. And also we can assume, we can set n minus x greater than the x, right? So now we can write an equation that the 2 to the x is equal to the p minus 16, and the 2 to the n minus x is equal to the p plus 16. That's the 1 and the 2. So we use the 2 minus 1, we can achieve the 32 is equal to 2 to the n to the minus x minus 2 to the x. Because x is smaller, so it's 2 to the x, 2 to the n minus the 2x minus 1, right? So let's see. This is a what number? This is an odd number. But this is the 2 to the power. This is the even number. Okay. So the only thing, okay, we can have a factor, let 32. 32 need to be have a factor of the all number, right? 32 need to be a factor of the all number. The only possible thing is 2 to the n minus 2 x minus 1 equals 1. And the 2 to the x is t equal to the 32 is equal to 2 to the 5. So based on this, we know x equal to the 5 and the n minus 2x equal to the 1, so that's why n equals 11. So this is the final answer. Okay, next. So suppose the x, y are non-zero real number. Let's say x, y cannot be zero, and they belong to the real, okay? And they satisfy this equation. So what is x plus 100y? So take a look. 100, 1,000y, right? 1,000y. Did you see here denominator has a y? So the first hint is, so I need 1,000 1, y. So just times y plus 2018 is equal to the 1,000y, right? And I also need the x. See, this one gives us x. So it's also x, y plus the 9 is also equal to the x. Now, great job. OK, so we have the 1 and the 2, right? Our goal is x plus 1,000y. So we have the 1 plus 2 can give us the x plus the 1,000y equals to the 2xy plus is 2027. Okay, now we solve the big part, right? The second part we are going to solve is 
we need the 2xy. How can we do the 2xy? Let's observe it here, okay? Getting the xy, right? How we can get the xy? 3 4 using 3 times 4 let's see what do we get on the right left side okay we get the 9 plus the 2018 right then we plus the xy plus the 2018 times 9 over xy is equal to 1000 right let's simplify this Okay, so this is 2027, 20, so 1000, uh, zero of the 1027, right? Plus the xy, plus the 2018 times 9 over xy is equal to zero. Now it becomes that we need the xy, right? This one becomes a function of the xy. Let's times xy becomes the xy square. Uh, plus the 1027xy uh, plus the 2018. Let's further uh, do a uh, factorize first times 9 equals 0. Now let's see, it's the 1009 and the plus the 18 is just 1027. Wow, great! So it's a simple factorization. So uh, xy. Uh, plus the 18 and the xy uh, plus the 1009 equals 0. So we have two solutions xy1 equals negative 18 and the xy2 equals negative 1009. Okay, now we can see what's the minimum. Okay, let's copy. Don't remember this, I forget this one. Okay. So now we have the x plus 1000 y equals to 2xy plus the 2027. 20, so the maximum value is using, of course, minus 18, right? 2 times negative 18 plus the 2027 20, is equal to 2027 20, minus the uh, 36 is equal to the 9 is 8 is 9 is 1. Oh, uh, no. Sorry for the calculation. OK. Okay, so it should be one, nine, uh, nine, and one. I'm sorry. Yes, that's this question. Let's go to the last one. Whoa, last one. Sounds like uh, really scared, huh? So, I mean, the A, B, C, uh, D, E are different digits, right? So that means that A that cannot be equal to B, cannot equal to C, cannot equal to D, cannot equal to E. And uh, they have to belong from the 0 to 9, and A cannot be 0, right? This is what we can write at the first. So after we add in this, right, we must add this and do, do, do this kind of carrying, right? Okay, so n now let's do something. Okay, so we can we know that seven times b right should be uh, the ten times x plus the a right. So x can be the number less than because it's seven times b right. So x can be the number less or equal than six right. Okay, so x. Now let's do. D, right? So 6D plus the carrying of the X, right, is equal to the 10 times Y plus the A, right? So we have this uh, amount of things. So 6, 6 times 9 is uh, 56. So uh, 
So y also should be less than. Then what's next? Next is a 5 times e plus the y equals, right, is 10 times z plus the a. So the 5 times 9 is 45, 45 times 6, so it's so z should be less than 5 or greater than 0. Okay, right, now, right next. So 4 times d plus the z equals 10 times the uh, p plus a. Okay, so here is the 5 and the 49, 34, right? So that's why uh, it's p is less equal than 4 greater equal than 0. Now next, 40. Uh, 3c plus p equals to 10q plus a, right? So now we have the uh, carrying the 4, 3, 9 is 27 plus 431, so q should be greater or equal to less than 3. Then we have the 2 times b plus the q equals 10 times r plus the a, right? So q is 3 is uh, 18 plus the 3, so so r is less than 2. Okay, now the final one is a plus the r equals to a, right? There's no way, no carry. So this one tells you r equals to 0. So now let's Let's see, okay, let's, okay, let's modify this. So r equals zero, okay? Now let's see. So if you observe, right, by doing the equation, you can see this one with the b and this one with the b, so there is a constant here. This one has the d and this one has the d, so there is a constant over there, right? So basically, let me do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we can, using the one and and the six, okay, from the one and six. So we know the seven B equals ten X plus the A and we know the two B plus Q is equal to ten R plus the A. Okay, so this means, okay, so this means the 5b minus q equal, let's see, it's 7 and 8. So using 7 minus 8, we can get 5b is 10x minus r. Okay, so this one is, uh, if you mod 5, right? The right hand side mod 5 is 0. So, and the q is also belong to here, right? So you know q can be equals 0 or 5, but q less than 3, so of course then we know q equals 0. Okay, <clears throat> let me <clears throat> erase it. So now we def determine another one, q equals 0. Okay, so q equals 0 Then we have the 
to b equals 10 r plus the a right and the 7b equals 10x plus a okay and also we have r equals 0 so that's why oh. we have this because r equals 0 right okay now we have a, a good result we have the significantly reduced the uncertainties okay so now we have the we we have two possibilities okay so we can see it's the 5b equals the 10x so we know the b equals the 2x and the a equals 2b equals 4x so it means b a is a multiple of 4 right so the possibility for the a could be the 4 and the 8 sorry possibility for the b Okay, possibility for the B is 2 and 4, right? And the possibility of X is 1 and 2 in this case. Okay, now let's do a next step analysis. So after we adding the, for example, let's say a equals to 4, right? And the b equals to the 2, okay? Then the next step is the, the next step is the, so 7, the first is 7 times b equals to the 10 times 1 plus the Four, okay now the next step we carry in the one right so it will be 6d uh, plus the one equals the 10 times y plus the four so we have the 6d equal to 10 times y plus the three okay so in this case this 6d is an even number. 10y plus 3 is an odd number. There's no way they can be equal, right? So this case is gone. So basically, you can cross these possibilities. We don't need to work on this anymore. Okay, so now we only need to work on the, the, the other possibility is 8 and 4, right? Okay, now let's do it. So a equals 8, b equals to 4, then 7 times 4 is 28, okay? So we carry in the 2, so 6d plus 2 is equal to the 10y plus the 8. So this means the the 6d is equal to the 10y plus 6. Okay, so what kind of things can satisfy this, right? So you can clearly see that either 6y equals 0, or you can see is the, so y can be 0 or 3. Uh, then let's see, let's carry in the next level. That's equation, uh, the, that's equation three. 
Okay, so now let's see the 5e plus the y equal the 10z plus the 8. Okay, so if if y equals 0, then it's the 5e equals 10z plus the 8, right? So this is the multiple of 5, multiple of 5, but this is not multiple of 5, so there's no way. So y cannot equal to 0, then y equals to 3. So if y equals 3, then we have the 5e equals the 10z plus the 8 is equal to the, uh, I mean, minus 3. So that's we get the e is equal to the 2z plus 1. Okay, so e is 2z plus 1. Okay, next, let's see. It's 4d plus z, right? Equation 4. Equation 4, okay? Okay, so 4d plus z. 4 times d. Okay, now if y is equal to, uh, I forget to mention, okay? If y equals 3, right? y equals 3, so d is equal to y equals 3, d is equal to 6. Okay, so d equals 6. Then we have the 4d is 4 times 6, okay? Plus z. Is equal to ten times q plus the eight. Okay, let's see. So this number is twenty eight, uh, twenty four, right? Twenty four plus the z should be something like a uh, 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 the something eight, right? So you can see, okay, the only possible with the something 8 is 28, right? So the only possible is 24 plus 4, so is equal to 28. So now you know z e is equal to the 4. If z equal to the 4, right, put it here, so we know e equals to the 9. Okay, so we know z equals to the 4, e, e equals to the 9, right? So last, let's solve the c, okay? The equation 5. 3c plus p, 3c plus p equals to, so then the carry in is p. 3c plus p is equal to, 10q plus a. And the p is 2. Okay, so now we can see 3c equals 10q plus the 6. Okay, so now you can also see what's the range of the, uh, of the p is to 4, right? So you can try several things, 1, 2, 3, it uh, doesn't work, right? So C is 3, is C is C is C is already, already more than that, right? So the only C is Q equals 0, C equals to 2, right? So C equals to 2. Now we can see what is the A, B, C, D, E is equal to 8, 4, uh, 2, 6, 9. Okay, so this is the five digits number. That's all for this video to solve all this problem. Thank you.